Swag Football Media Day previews continuing now as we head over to H-Town. Houston, Texas is the site where this team and their head coach reside, and that's Coach Clarence McKinney of the Texas Southern Tigers. Coach, you've been to this thing a number of years now. How good does it feel to be back, and does it feel like a family reunion as you get ready for the upcoming year? It uh, definitely feels great to be back. Uh, you know, we don't all get the chance to be in the same room as head coaches a lot, and this is one of the few times, and you know that season is right around the corner, so we're excited about this, this day. I wouldn't say landmark season, but definitely a season with a lot of check marks that were checked off last year and everything. And your team was in position to possibly, you know, uh, make a run. Unfortunately, I know that last game was against Alabama A&M was uh, definitely something. So once we go past that a little bit, what was kind of the mindset of you, your staff, and your players as you go into the offseason to get ready for this season? Well, our goal <clears throat> was to win the Swag West, and, and we were right there. You know, we gave ourselves an opportunity to, to be in the mix. And so our guys are confident that we are able and capable of, of winning the SWAC West. So we just wanted to go into the offseason and focus on finishing games mm -hmm. and, and closing out games the way we, we uh, should close them out so we can come out on top. Okay, gotcha. Well, uh, one of the guys you brought up with you, Andrew Body. we know he can sling it from left to right and everything else. He actually took leaps and bounds this past uh, season. What are you expecting from him now that he's got that experience under his belt going into 2023? Well, we're expecting him to take another step, another step in, in growth. Uh, but this step uh, we expect is going to be mentally. You know, this will be his third year within our scheme. He understands what we're doing, why we're doing it. Now we need him to understand what defenses are doing to stop him and, and him being able to put us in position to be successful. Speaking of defense, um, well, what is this Tigers defense going to look like in 2023 and how much will they have to improve to kind of take the load off of Mr. Body? Yeah, well, we, we hired uh, Coach Everett Todd uh, oh. as the new defense coordinator who was formerly a uh, Gremlin defense coordinator. I think uh, he's, he's a championship uh, defensive coach. He, he's done a great job with our guys, uh, focusing on stopping the run. Mm -hmm. uh, as you uh, may know, we, we were one of the better teams in D1 football last year in, in interceptions. Yes, sir. And we feel like if we can add stopping the run to those turnovers, we'll give ourselves a chance to be that much more successful. Okay, Coach, we'll wrap, this, uh, wrap things up with this. Your squad has the very unique situation of not waiting all the way to the end of the year to face their ultimate rival. Yeah. You guys get... Uh, Coach Bowen and company right out the gate in the Labor Day Classic. Can you kind of talk about how big that game is for someone that may not know about the rivalry between PV and Texas Southern? And what do you look forward to every year when you face your big rivals from right outside the Houston area? Yeah, it's a huge rivalry game. Um, you know, it's for bragging rights. A lot of times you might have households split where one one parent went to Texas Southern, the other parent went to Prairie View. Right. Uh, and then on top of that, you add that it's a, a conference game. Uh, it's, it's the first game of the season. It's just a, a huge weekend, and, and, and uh, we're looking forward to it, as, as we have always looked forward to it. And, and, you know, it'll let you know where you stand <laughs> within the league, you know, off the rip. All right, we've been joined by Coach Clarence McKinney, head coach of the Texas Southern University Tigers as they try to make a march uh, through the West and hopefully get to the SWAC Football Championship in 2023. We've got more from SWAC Football Media Days right here on HBCUSports.com.